everyone. Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Nail Art Weekly Stamping Collab. <laughs> um, today's theme was a Manny Swap, which um, Glitter Nails for Me hosted. So what that is, is we all put our names um, out there to whoever wanted to join this, and she assigned us a partner. And then we had to stalk <laughs> our partners' uh, YouTube channels, Instagrams for a Manny um, that we wanted to recreate. And we didn't have to do the exact, exact same thing. Um, you know, we could, you know, do a similar one, switch it up, do different colors, whatever. I wanted to do as close as possible to mine. And I got Ginger from Je Gels and Gems. <laughs> and I just loved one of her manis. And I just really wanted to do it. But I was short, like, two stamping plates. Um, I only had the one. So I made it work though. I think it looks pretty remarkable. Um, there's like a couple of switch ups, but you know, it, it looks, it looks really good. I hope you like it. I think it looks really good. Of course, if I didn't think it was looks really good, we would have never made it to video. But anyway, <laughs> so let's take a look at everybody who's joined. Um, the links will be in the description box below. As soon as I get them, I always add the links in there. Um, sometimes the links aren't in there right away, but eventually they'll get there. So check out their channels, subscribe. If you're coming over from their channels, I hope that you subscribe to me as well. Don't forget to click the like button. I always do that at the beginning of a video so that I don't forget by the end. I always put like, you know, you can always unlike if you decide you don't like it. And if you don't like it, who cares? You know, you just hit the like anyways. It's a nice thing to do. Hit the like button. <laughs> anyways, let's take a look at everybody's pictures and follow up with my picture. And then I will show you how I created it. I hope you like it. So let's get started. <laughs> Gigi Nails got me. I love the design she chose. It's awesome. Today I'm going to be using Wave Gel's Snow Ice, Clean Slate, Shiny No Clean Top Coat, Base Gel. I purchased these from RushHourBeauty.com and I've got a 10% off discount code for you in the description box below. I'm also going to be using Bundle Monster Stamping Polish, which I purchased on BundleMonster.com. And I have Amethyst, Royal Blue, Electric Pink, and I'm going to be using Straight Up Black. I'm also going to be using this plate that I also purchased from Bundle Monster. And a fine dotting tool, some pearls, and gems which I um, purchased off of eBay. Two coats of snow ice on my hands, and I've got some liquid latex 
that I put in an empty polish bottle. And I'm just going to put some liquid latex around my fingers because I'm going to be using some black stamping polish and that stuff is nasty to get off. While I'm waiting for those to dry, we're going to do this finger right here because that one won't be really messy. So I'm going to start out with some of this blue and the pink. and the amethyst. And I'm going to put that right here. I think it stopped shaking. There we go. It's kind of hard to stamp up in the air like that. Then I'm going to do this one right here. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. The amethyst and the pink. And the blue. I actually have never used these stamping polishes before. Um, except for the, the amethyst one. So, let's see. I kind of like how they work. They're just not good for dark colors. Okay, there we go. I'll mix up the design a little bit. So I'm just going to put random feathers on this thumb. Okay. And I think one more feather feather will be good right here and there we go and now we're going to stamp with the black I guess I should have opened it first okay now we're going to stamp with the black <laughs> uh. And I'm just going to put random feathers here. Okay, and I think another little part right here. Okay. Okay, and part of one here. I stamped the black and white designs and now I'm just going to remove the latex. To make this design look more like gingers, I've got some clean slate and some tin foil and a fine dotting tool. And I'm just going to add the little dots that were on her template. A random I'm just going to finish that up and then I'm going to cure this and we'll come right back. I'm going to put some top coat on this fingernail. It, um, the design is completely dry. And then I'm going to stick this gem right here. And I'm going to go ahead and cure that because if I try to do my other fingernails, it's just going to slide right off. So I'm going to cure that and then we'll come right back. Top coated the black and white designs. So now we're ready to add a top coat to this, my ring finger. And then we can stick on... the last of the gems. 
my fingers aren't overly big so I really can't do the exact same um, design here but I'll get it close And yeah, I don't have any of those little caviar beads and it doesn't matter because they wouldn't fit on my fingers. <laughs> so there we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cure that and we'll come back. So here's the finished look. I really like it. I think it came out quite good for not having the exact plates. Um, I hope you like it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.